welcome to akasmita classes today we will discuss on the shrivastava committee so shrivastava committee was established or set up in the year of 1974 but this given its report in the year of 1975 that's why it is written as shrivastava committee 1975 so why there is a need in the year of 19 in the year of 1974 why there is a need for this committee so the need is that the failure in the health program in the nutrition health education family welfare program and the maternal health services in that time this these are the service like uh, nutrition health education and the family health service is not not properly carried out so that so this committee was set up under the chairmanship of sri k n srivastava and this committee at that time he was the secretary of the ministry of health and family welfare so this committee uh, given uh, this committee uh, given emphasis how to improve or uh, the manpower or how to the health assistants who were working the basic health service that is nutrition health education family planning and the maternal health services so how this can be possible so this committee is also known as medical education committee on medical education and the support manpower so these are the two things that is very important how the medical education should be more powerful or more advanced and how the support manpower means the health assistant this is called the manpower so they can be given a proper curriculum of training so that they can be work in the field properly so the main objective is the objective of this committee is to reorient the medical education in accordance to the nation need and the priorities so the it's in short form it is called as rom that is the reorientation of the medical education so that time the existing health education system was not so advanced so how the education system should be medical education system should be more strengthened how the reform should be take how the steps uh, what the steps or measures should be taken so that the education the medical education should be uh, the professional should be more uh, qualified that's why that is the objective of this committee and the second to develop a curriculum for the health assistants so the health assistants was uh, was called the main power so they should be given a curriculum of training so that uh, so that for uh, for there the is there the link between the medical officer and a multi purpose worker so they are also called the main power so they uh, should be given uh, other the, these are the health assistants they should be given a curriculum of training so that uh, they are can be work for, they will be perform in the community itself and if they are is another point of view we see that there are the linkages between the medical officer and the multi purpose worker so that is so that is very important so that is the objective of this rivastava committee so on his observation of one year this committee given his report in the year of 1975 so what are the recommendations he has given or uh, this committee has given so one is organization of the basic health service so the basic health service like uh, nutrition uh, health programs or nutrition health education family planning and maternal health services so that should be that is that should be these are the basic health services that could that was provided by the health personnel in the community and second three tier between the community and the medical officer as you see there is a village health guard second level we see that is a multi purpose worker and ml and people and in third third level we see the health assistant so there is a three tier three tier structure who are working you know in the community and the medical officers and third one creation of the band of para professional and the semi professional so uh, para professional and the semi professional health worker so we select people you know, within that community because uh, the people like gram sevak the people uh, of uh, like school teacher of that community the postmaster of that community so they are very known to the people and they are very familiar with the within the community so we should uh, the government carefully select that type of people and them given a uh, training and uh, uh, training and uh, also they given uh, guidance and supervision so that they can work within the community and say what they will do in the community they provide they will given uh, promotive health services they, 
so the, as well they as you are giving them training so they can uh, they can perform the simple promotive health services preventive health services on the communicable diseases and the curative health services on the simple remedies on day to day life whatever the simple remedies they to do this these are the service they can they can provide by the uh, within the community so they are they may be full timely uh, provide the service or uh, the partially they can involve in this uh, in the co community health services so that is called the creation of the band of para professional and the semi professional worker within the community and the establishment of two cadre group cadre of health uh, workers as you see the there is a two cadre that is a male male uh, female health worker and the uh, sorry multi purpose worker male and the male multi purpose worker female so there is a two cadre of health or group of health workers next establishment of medical and health education commission so the present health education uh, system was not medical education system was not so advanced so how what are the necessary steps or what are the measures should be taken to improve the medical education systems that why a commission was formed or established so this commission will do the work as likely the university grant commission as the on the basis of the university grant ugc uh, as the ugc was carrying the work in the general education process similarly this commission will be work on the particular on the medical education uh, medical education curriculum then develop referral service complex so those patients who has come to the sub center they are uh, for for better treatment they can be sent to the psc level and if uh, if uh, the patient uh, from the psc uh, if the patient need more treatment or advanced uh, type of treatment will be need to the patient then they can be transferred to the tula hospital and from the tula hospital if patient need more advanced treatment they can be transferred to a district hospital and next to the medical college and hospitals so this is the called the reference of this complex and this was uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, the, this complex design was also recommended by the shivastava committee and this committee also uh, give, suggest the psc should be strengthened if additional medical option will be work as you know the in psc will find a medical options will uh, not that will not seen in sub center so if we given an additional medical option who will work on the maternal and child health matter so that will be more the psc should be more strengthened so this is the recommendation by the shivastava committee hope we understand Oh, 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 we understand that uh, Sivastava committee. The important point is that the when who is the chairman of the Sivastava committee? That is the Sir K uh, K N Sivastava. And what is the other name of this committee? So that will be come in the MCQ MCQ types of question will be come. The that is the known as medical education and the support manpower. And what are the recommendations? And who uh, who suggested uh, or which committee suggested the referral service complex? That is the Srivastava committee. So these are the uh, few points that will be come in the multiple uh, in the MCQ MCQ type of question that will be come in the exams so thank you for watching this uh, video uh, please subscribe my channel